This video could contain spoilers. You've been warned. With all these changes going on with the DC Universe, is there any room for more? DC Studios' James Gunn addresses the possibility of Elseworlds projects, and Smallville's Rosenbaum wants to be Lex Luthor again in Gunn's DCU. We're also going to dig into Colin Farrell's tease about the Batman only being the tip of the iceberg for the Penguin, and much more. Stay tuned to make sure you don't miss out. But first, DC Studios' James Gunn addresses possibility of Elseworlds projects. There seem to be new developments about the new future of the DC Universe every day lately, as we find out more and more about the exciting plans DC Studios has. And we've been given another drop of information by James Gunn about what could be in store for us through a tweet of Gunn's in reply to a fan. Someone had asked the co-CEO of DC Studios and filmmaker whether he'd be open to producing any Elseworlds DC projects that are not set in the DCU. Elseworlds are stories that feature DC characters, but they are set in alternate realities that are outside of the established, overarching continuity of the rest of the DC universe. This isn't exactly a new concept to comic fans. It's not even without precedent in the world of DC movies. In a way, 2019's Joker is an Elseworlds type of movie, as it takes place outside of the then DCEU. So it's not very far-fetched to think that there may be something there. Well, Gunn not only said he's open to the idea, but wrote back, that is actively happening. Of course, no details were revealed, but it's very exciting to hear that Elseworlds projects are already in the works. Actually, the idea of more Elseworlds movies was being considered even before the changes at DC and Warner Bros. But it's nice to have it confirmed, don't you think? Following, Smallville's Rosenbaum wants to be Lex Luthor again in James Gunn's DCU. DC Studios co-CEO James Gunn announced that a new Superman movie is in the works recently, taking the DC Universe in a rather unexpected turn. Pretty much the entire world was prepared to see Henry Cavill reprise his role as Superman, and it was already a sentiment long before his cameo in Black Adam. But Gunn's recent announcement has officially, and a bit rudely, shoved those lofty expectations off the table by confirming that Cavill will not, in fact, be featured in the new Superman movie. Gunn's reason for not casting Cavill is simply that the movie will focus on a young Clark Kent at the beginning of his career as a Daily Planet reporter and superhero. But don't think it's going to be another origin story because it's not. Gunn also said that he is currently working on the script for the Superman movie, but won't be directing the project himself. However, what the movie is going to be about remains a mystery for now, which also means that casting is open for now. This has led to fan speculation and the picking of their own candidates, both for Superman himself and, of course, his obvious nemesis in this setup, Lex Luthor. A popular nomination for the latter seemed to be Michael Rooker, that is, until Michael Rosenbaum, the person who portrayed Lex throughout the seven seasons of Smallville, decided to chime in on Twitter. I hope I'd be in the running. I mean, I did play him for seven years. Unless you would have a problem with that, the actor wrote. While there's no denying that Rosenbaum has the role down, he just might be a little too old for Gunn's plans as well. And now, Colin Farrell teases the Batman was just the tip of the iceberg. There's no denying that Robert Robert Pattinson blew us all away in 2021's The Batman, and this solid take on the DC franchise is set to expand even further with The Penguin, a spin-off series that will be available on HBO Max. The Penguin will revolve around the ongoing adventures of Oswald Cobblepot, otherwise known as The Penguin, who will be portrayed by the one and only Colin Farrell. Slowly but surely, the cast and crew of the project have been growing, and Farrell, for one, seems to be very excited about the magic they're all about to create together. Farrell opened up about how he felt he didn't get to spend nearly enough time with his character in The Batman in an interview with Variety. Farrell gushed about the extraordinary work done by Mike Marino and Mike Fontaine, the makeup artists, who definitely delivered much more than we were expecting. And I just thought it was the tip of the iceberg. I was grateful for them, but I wanted more, Farrell said. While the Penguin got to do several scenes in The Batman, we can all agree with Farrell that there is a lot of potential there. Sadly, plot details are being kept under tight wraps, 
but the series is expected to pick up somewhere after the events of The Batman, when The Penguin is supposed to be released is not yet known. And where do you think you're going? There's more to come. Next, will Ezra Miller continue to portray The Flash? James Gunn finally debunks the Wonder Woman rumor, and Stephen Amell has shared the first set pictures with Grant Gustin following the announcement of Oliver Queen's return. Make sure to watch until the end of the video to see. Now, let's get to it. First up, will Ezra Miller continue to portray The Flash? Ezra Miller's future has been hanging in the balance for a while now. It all started after he allegedly committed an assault in Iceland and in Hawaii in 2021, as well as some other allegations. It was rumored that the studio had no idea what to do with him, or the upcoming The Flash, which is led by the problematic Miller. Options were laid out, including recasting the role and reshooting the movie entirely. That turned out to be a bit too expensive of a joke, and it was confirmed instead that The Flash will be released with Miller as the Scarlet Speedster. But other than that, it has remained reasonably quiet in the official channels. Until now, as DC Studios co-CEO James Gunn has finally addressed the report, though his response will probably underwhelm you. Someone had asked the filmmaker whether he could respond to Variety's reporting on Miller and the rumor that his slate only had three years worth of projects. And Gunn replied with, I don't know what's out there about Ezra, but our slate is 8 to 10 years. But we will only be announcing some of it this month. While it seems that Gunn is just brushing off the Ezra part of the question, it seems a good sign that he isn't completely ignoring the matter either. This could mean that there may be some merit to Variety's report, and the executives at Warner Bros. Discovery are indeed open to keeping Miller on as The Flash, as the actor has stayed out of trouble since his apology and the start of his mental health treatment. Do you think that's fair? Next, James Gunn debunks Wonder Woman rumor. The future of the DC Universe is constantly in a state of ebb and flow, which will continue as the plans of DC DC Studios co-CEOs Peter Safran and James Gunn start to snap into place one by one. Among all these changes, one future fans have been openly curious about is that of Diana Prince, also known as Wonder Woman. Now, Patty Jenkins' Wonder Woman 3 has been scrapped. Rumors have started to circulate that franchise veteran Gal Gadot could end up being recast as well, but that would probably be better than the future variety has drawn up, in which Wonder Woman wouldn't be involved in the first few years of Gunn and Safran slate at all. But of all the things that are being said, it seems like Gunn wanted to set especially this one straight. Gunn confirmed in a tweet that reports that Wonder Woman will be absent from the slate are not true, concretely debunking the rumors. Wonder Woman has been a cornerstone of DC, and it would be upsetting to see her sidelined. Luckily, it seems like we don't have to worry about the character leaving the scene. However, Gunn also hinted, amid all the rumors, that the plan going forward remains to tell a cohesive story servicing the DC characters. And the decisions that have to be made to get there won't be all pretty. And not every single person is going to be happy every single step of the way. Whether this means that Wonder Woman will indeed be recast or something else entirely remains to be seen as well. And lastly, Stephen Amell has shared the first set pictures with Grant Gustin following the announcement of Oliver Queen's return. The CW has finally announced that Arrow star Stephen Amell will be returning to the Arrowverse for one final time in the ninth and final season of The Flash, which will return in February of 2023. Amell's Oliver Queen was the one who started the network's interconnected universe of DC superheroes. And in fact, Amell was the first to introduce fans to Grant Gustin's Barry Allen in Arrow's season two episode, The Scientist, back in 2013. So it's only fitting that Amel is now back for the ending. And even more fitting is how Amel decided to mark the exciting announcement. Amel shared a picture of himself with Gustin on the set of Instagram, captioning the chap with, when Barry calls, Oliver answers. In case the picture is a bit confusing, it does not come from the upcoming season of The Flash. It's actually a snap that Amel shared in September of 2013, officially welcoming Gustin to the Arrowverse, back when the actor was first on set filming The Scientist. Eric Wallace, showrunner for The Flash, said that they immediately know they wanted Amel to come back when the final season was announced. After all, it was Oliver who set Barry on his heroic path. That's why everyone on the team strongly felt like it was very important to go full circle. And they were absolutely
absolutely right. The end result is an epic but emotional episode we hope you enjoyed just as much as we did. And that's all we've got for you now. How do you feel about the possibility of Elseworlds projects already being in the works? Do you have any hopes of what they'll do with the creative freedom? Let us know in the comments what your thoughts are, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see some more. Thanks for watching.